Hello once again everybody, I'm Tom from Full Play UK and we're back with Train Simulator once again on the South Wales Coastal Route. This time we're going to... Uh, <laughs> oh, it did actually say Cardiff to Cheltenham Star, it actually says Mystek there. But um, in this one, the actual, um, uh, the actual name of the scenario is Cardiff to Cheltenham Spa. But we're actually going, only going as far as Bristol Parkway because we don't actually go to Cheltenham on this route. So let's go. So you need to set it up and then load passengers. So load passengers. Forwards. Deactivate the alarm. Uh, try and set the headlights so they make some form of sense. That's quite good. That's not. That's even darker. Right. It should be fine. Um, is there a headlight thing in here? Is there some sort of lighting panel? Is that it? Headlights. Yeah, head night. Okay, that's fine. They don't do anything. I don't particularly need a cab light, but I would quite like um, some sort of light behind these. Not that it makes a big bit of difference. Anyway, hello Cardiff. Right, here we go. We'll just have to sort it out on the way. Thank you, let's go. So we're stopping in Newport. Going via Severton Junction and then Patchway Platform 1. And then actually stopping again at Bristol Parkway. So that is fine. That's enough throttle now. We'll be going downhill in a moment, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. So that's blue. And that's yellow over there. A bit more blue. I think that's enough. I think that's enough lighting in here. Hmm. It's just... An well, it's not night, it's early morning. But there we go. It looks nice. Nice train. Oh, we've seen this bit of Cardiff before, of course. Apply a little bit of brake just to make sure that we aren't actually going anywhere too quickly. the brake a bit because we can afford to accelerate a little bit. Ah, so we know what it was like last time just getting to Newport. We've got to do that and then go through the Seven Tunnel and out the other side all the way to Bristol. So the timetable says uh, 7.35 so it's a little over half an hour. Doesn't seem that bad really when you think of a YouTube video? Right, hammer down. Let's get up to 40 as quickly as possible. Because I would very much like to get there before then. Thank you very much. What I might actually do is cut down the, uh, the boring or slow sections. Um, like I did with my Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, Christmas Special. I uh, trimmed out certain bits of that. Well, I didn't trim it out, I sort of sped them up by about was it, 8 or maybe 10 times normal speed. So we just bombed it along. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we are still here. I mean, okay, I can see why it would be a slower thing. You've got houses both sides. So you wouldn't particularly want trains, you know, ragging it. Creating a load of noise, especially at this time of night. Let's have a little look outside. See if there's anything to see. Not really. 
That over there will be Newport Road and its um, industrial areas. That there will be the Link Road. Oh yes, there's the river. The Rumney River. We've got Rumney and Lam Rumney over there. I must admit, I don't remember there being this many bridges along here. Anyway, okay, that's me at 75. I'll uh, knock the power on that before we start getting uh, uh, speeding points. So yes, it's ever so slightly snowy. Of course, being this dark at 7 in the morning, it's got to be winter time. Okay, so we're pretty much out of Cardiff now, so I reckon it's probably time to just, uh, you know, put the hammer down and I'll see you in the approach to Newport. <laughs> so thankfully this bit along here is just really straight and there's really not much going on right now. So we can just uh, speed it up. We can just uh, speed it up and rock it our way to uh, the more interesting parts of the route. So it's starting to slow down now on the approach to uh, Newport. Um, as you can see there is a yellow signal here, which gave me an alarm. So slow down. Because it should be the signal now behind the 75 mile an hour speed restriction. It's at red. Of course that will creep forward. Oh, we're green again. Okay, never mind. I mean, we've got to slow down now anyway. Yes, yeah, so on approach to Newport. I sound really disappointed, don't I, when I talk about Newport. I don't mean to be. I mean, I know there's a lot of rivalry between sort of Cardiff, Newport and Swansea. And residents of one think that uh, the other cities are, well, shitholes, to put it bluntly. Uh, that's not true. Not really, anyway. Not really. So, slow down now to 60. It's not really, it's just a uh, friendly local rivalry, I suppose. Uh, I mean, Cardiff does tend to see the lion's share of the investment. Being the capital city, so... You can't help but be jealous if you're from Newport or Swansea. Sort of living in... Living in the shadow of a, I was going to say more famous neighbour, but maybe more popular is the right word. Anyway, remember we've got 30 miles an hour once we leave the tunnel. Uh, Newport Platform 4 again. Yes, indeed. seems familiar, doesn't it? Well, so far, it's been exactly the same as, well, episode one. <laughs> the first scenario we did. Yeah, let's uh, ease off that a bit. Oh, it appears to be yellow up there. That's fine. Don't mind a yellow signal, especially as we're coming into a platform. Because we've just got to slow down anyway. Ding. There we go. Oh, it's gone green. Cool. 9% looking at my brake gauges over here next to the 
fuel. That's fine. I've never really seen the point of the fuel gauge on this thing. Because you could drive for hours and you wouldn't make a dent in it. Come into a nice gentle stop. Hopefully fairly close to that signal. Should really stop here, I suppose. That's where the marker is. <sighs> There's only three carriages, but we'll pull up up here anyway. Because I don't care. <laughs> here is fine. External view. Look backwards. Stop. Open doors. Other side. Let's look back. Oh, there he is. He's he's off that way. He's off that... Oh, no, he's stopping. Okay, that's fine. Da -da -da. Getting on, guys. I'm going to leave in a minute. I've just seen the... Uh, I've just seen the timetable. We're running early. Which is probably why we're we're waiting here for quite a while. When are we supposed to leave? Seven fifteen. Blimey. So yeah, we'll be here for a little while now. Um. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, that's the trouble with uh, with the timetable when you come early. Just waiting for the clock. Let's have a look. So at least this uh, platform here is new. Looks nice. They've got a new bridge over here as well. I mean, look at that. Some architecture going on there. <laughs> it's definitely snowy. It's never this snowy in real life. Look at that over there. Might not be 100% accurate, but it still looks pretty good. I mean, okay, yeah, the graphics are quite simple in this game. I mean, it's based on a fairly old engine now, so... Yeah. Come on, almost there. Almost there. Come on, let's go. There we go, nice. Doors are shut and everything. Despite the fact the audio queue is well late for that, but there we are. Seven tonal junction, less than ten miles. It should be moderately fast on the way there now. I mean, okay, yes, twenty miles an hour over the bridge, but still. As we are leaving Newport. Forty now. Oh, I'm speeding, am I? Well, of course. Great, I got some speeding penalty points. Fantastic. I mean, at least that there looks fairly uh, fairly accurate. Looks like it's got the Triforce logo in the middle. <laughs> it's not. Let's go a bit more. And then we've got some uh, sort of old castle bit there. That's quite nice. Not really anything to look at over there. It's just some houses. Just to flesh things out a bit. Right, back in the cab. Approaching the speed limit, so we'll back off a bit. Still not enough, put it in neutral. Idle, that's what I meant. Oh, did you see the sky get a little bit lighter? 
it appears it goes in jumps rather than a nice smooth transition into dawn. Oh, there, look, we've got shadows now. Anyway, we can start to accelerate. And leave. We shouldn't have to, uh, shouldn't have to stop now until Bristol Parkway. Hopefully the lights are in our favour. But you never know. It might not be. So what's that over there? Is that a good... Yes, that's good. Another freight liner full of coal, probably. They usually are. I mean, it's South Wales Valleys, of course. There's another train parked up over there. Oh no, it's just wagons. It's just wagons. Back in, onto the view. I wish when you went back in it would put your view like normal. <laughs> where it should be. And not wherever you happen to be looking last. Would be nice. So where do we actually leave Newport? around here to be honest once we hit this 90 mile an hour speed limit thing anyway let's have a look at the map where are we now there we are yes there's Newport over there so there we are bombing it along it's Pretty straight now. Pretty straight. Yeah, there's a bit of a turn. There's there's seven tonnel junction. And then go down here and come out the other end. Right. So yes, it's quite a way still. So uh we'll speed things up again and we'll see you. Um we'll see you near the tunnel. You know what? If we're lucky, we might get a rather decent sunrise. That'd be nice. Well, probably wouldn't happen before half past seven anyway. But the sky is definitely getting lighter. That is a very long freight train. Very long indeed. So what's this coming up here? Oh, this is HST. Yet another one. Right, so I think we're starting to approach Seven Tunnel Junction now. Yeah, we're only two and a half miles away. Um, we've got a speed restriction coming up, so we need to slow down for that. Still got plenty of green lights. The warning for 75. I'll be around the corner here somewhere. Yes, there it is. Just see it on the ground there. There's Southern Tunnel Junction. Remember, we don't have to stop here. We've just got a pass through. So we can do that at speed. Well, 70 miles an hour at least. But that's still speed when it comes to trains. Just trying to make sure I don't go over 70 now on our approach. Now the green light. Oh, there's a deviation. There's a little deviation arm on it. must be a high speed junction because they haven't given us like a 20 or uh, 25 mile an hour restriction there. Still going a bit too fast, there we go. Yes, these are, these are high speed junctions. High speed crossover. No problem whatsoever. 
So there's a train there waiting for us to get out of the way. Or is he going the other way? Oh no, both of these tracks go this way. But those two go that way. There we go, timeliness bonus. Nice. Oh no, he is going that way. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going faster than you! Bye! Yeah, that's quite cool. Oh look, there's another one! And so down here, heading towards the tunnel. Oh, do excuse me, my nose is really... <laughs> my nose is really tickly. It's right in the middle of hay fever season, that's the trouble. So here we are. Here is the tunnel. Now there's some interesting uh, signals inside the tunnel. Because obviously being a tunnel and having to go underneath the river, it goes down and down and down. And I'm speeding a bit. So you can see it goes down. It's a fairly steep gradient down. So yes, you do have to stay on the brakes. Even gently, so you don't speed. When you reach the bottom then, there's a set of blue lights to mark the where it flattens out. So yes, it's about there. It's not actually that far in. Um, then there's another set of lights just before it starts going back up again. Because, of course, you're in a tunnel, you're in the dark. There's no way you can tell... Um, there's no way you can tell uh, what the gradient's doing. So as we're going around the corner here, we can just about make that out. Just about make it out. Yeah, it won't be far now. Yeah, is there only a set of blue lights? We should see them in a minute. I think we need to go around another little corner first. Uh, should be any moment now. We're straightening off a bit now, aren't we? That's <laughs> ridiculous. I can can't see anything. I know I've got my lights on. I have, haven't I? Oh no, there we go. There's lights. Why weren't my lights on? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, this is the first set of blue lights, which mark the, the bottom and where it flattens out. So it's now fairly flat now. And this is where you start putting the power back on. Because certainly with the freight trains, you know, you need full power to get up this hill. And even then you slow down. So yes, you get one one light when it starts to flatten out, and then two lights then uh, when it starts to go back up again. Oh no, this is this is light and powerful enough to actually accelerate the hill. So that's fine. I really don't understand why my lights were off. I'm sure I didn't turn them off. So we're speeding this bit up so we get out fairly quickly. We don't want to hang around too much. So there we go, there's the end of the tunnel. It just popped in. Not entirely sure why. <laughs> but there we go. End of the tunnel. And it's looking fairly light out here now, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. So as you can see, I've been on full power all the way out the bottom of that and I'm still only just approaching 70 miles an hour. So it is a fairly steep incline, really. You know, you're absolutely caning it the whole way. Here we are, we're out. We've just got this rather long cutting now. Rather long cutting to get out of, and then we'll be out, out and on our way. So let's uh, speed this up now until we get close to Patchway not far now really so 
here's a tunnel. We are still going uphill. It's a really long climb. And when you do this in a freight train, it is actually quite difficult. It is really quite difficult. Um, thankfully, yes, there's Patchway there. Not far away at all, so we're going to have to start slowing down. Oh no, we're going via. We're going via. We don't have to slow down. I mean, we still do have to slow down because there's a 20 mile per hour speed restriction there. Did I say 20? I meant 60. I'm sure I said 60, but I kind of think I actually said 20. <laughs> but it's a 60. It is definitely 60. Yeah, we've got to slow down anyway. We don't stop there. We're in a parkway, not patchway. It does make a difference. So apply the brakes a bit now, slow down. in this penalty reward surely not penalty anyway Bristol Parkway now is just around this corner so just apply a little bit of brake just a little bit I mean we're we're coming in pretty much on time there look 7.35 Yes, there's a double yellow there. Cancel that. <sighs> this is good. Less than half a mile now. A bit more break because. 42 is a little much this far out. We don't want to leave all our braking to the last minute, that is for sure. That's 30 miles an hour. And we still haven't actually reached the platform yet, that's good. So I aim to try and hit about 20 miles an hour when you reach the platform. It seems to be a fairly decent speed. Seems off the brakes a bit now. We want to be able to coast into the proper position. A little bit of brake now. I don't particularly take any notice of the of the position markers. I don't see why it doesn't make any difference as long as you're all on the platform. There we go. And we are stopped. Job done, we're here. Safe and sound. We didn't speed too much. Nothing bad happened. So we're at Bristol Parkway. It's a fairly nice looking station. Very rarely go here, of course. <laughs> There's not much reason to. Ah, unless I'm passing through somewhere else. There we go, 949 points. That is pretty good still not quite gold standard because we did have some speeding penalties so I think these here are timeliness this is where we gained points for being good <laughs> and these of course are speeding I have no idea why it does this 
It doesn't seem to do it on the other routes. On the other routes, it seems to be fine, but on this one, either that or I've only played this route since downloading it, so it might just be a case of this route broke it for everything. I don't know. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, write down in the comments if you think there's anything in particular you'd like to see me do. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.